Yes! Blood and explosions and barrels and bullets. That makes my Saturday. Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Afternoon Gaming. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're checking out the fan-recommended game Radix, Beyond the Void, or Into the Void? No, Beyond the Void. Uh, this game was recommended a couple weeks back, and uh, I was looking for a game to play today, and this one sounded as good as any. So this is a 2.5D first-person shooter, I think a lot like Descent from what I was able to look up. It was made by Epic's Mega Games, which I think, or Epic Mega Games, I think, didn't they release things like, uh, I want to say Duke Nukem 3D, but maybe I'm crazy. I actually have their uh, their uh, uh, Wikipedia page open on a computer here I'm looking at. Um, oh, actually, it looks like these these guys were from Toronto, Ontario, or they moved to Toronto. I mean, my, my hometown, baby. Um, and they worked with studios like Apogee, which I always called Apogee, and id Software. Okay, so Epic Mega Games, I mean, the, the name of the studio sounded familiar to me, and I was sort of like, doesn't that have some relation to, like, Commander Keen and Duke Nukem and stuff? Um, I think they were just in the realm of shareware at the time, possibly working with these other companies. And that's how I uh, know their name. That's why their name feels kind of nostalgic to me. Um, anyway, we're getting a little preview here of the gameplay. As you can see, yeah, it really is sort of like Descent, or it's sort of like a Duke Nukem 3D where you can fly up and down as well. So this will be kind of interesting, actually. Uh, I'm all about shooting random androids from a uh, flying drone. Um, it's interesting because it kind of feels like like those androids or whatever you're killing are much bigger than you So it does feel like maybe you're piloting some kind of like drone or something, but maybe you're just fighting giant aliens I don't 100% know, but you know what the best way to figure things out in a video game is to do So let us do pilot name is Jay the Iceman There we go and here's my difficulty level. I just can't do this. I like how back in the day when you selected difficulty levels, they would show you like a little portrait of who you were. So it's like, let's kick some xenomorphic butt. Look, this guy's got a cigar. He's like ready to roll. This guy looks like a cult leader, actually. Uh, this guy just is like a normal guy. And then there's like the angry video game nerd, <laughs> which actually makes it more enticing for me to play on this level. Let's just do a normal difficulty, I would say. Uh, like many old shareware games, they were often broken up into episodes. I feel like Wolfenstein 3D started that trend. So you could have like episode 1, 2, or 3. And episode 1 was often the free one that you would play on shareware. And then you would have to pay for episodes 2 or 3. Um, I, I've never played this game before, so we'll just hop into the beginning here. And here's our start position. January 8th, 2149. The construction of the Radix... Class Starfighter is complete and is taken. Okay, didn't have a chance to read. Read faster, Jay. It has been invaded by vicious extra-dimensional aliens that came through the void, a black portal through which exists a different universe. Your job will be to completely eradicate this alien presence so that the base can be retaken by the United Earth Space Alliance. All right, sign me up, Chief. If you fail, humanity will surely perish. Well, <laughs> probably should send a second guy too, just to be safe, because like. You know, not, not to undersell myself, but you don't want to depend on me to save the universe. Oh, that's kind of a cool demonstration of the overhead map. I believe this liquid is being produced by generators. Your primary mission would be to destroy these generators. Oh, okay. We actually have a mission. If you can destroy the generators, you will prevent the spread of this liquid to the entire Theta-2 water system. All right. Cool. Your secondary objective is to destroy the ventilator fan noted in the briefing map. You should also destroy all computer systems in the area. Basically, just destroy everything you see. Destroy it all. You will have to destroy all enemies in this area. This will allow you to gain access to the outpost. Oh my god, there's too many objectives. Too many objectives. There are security devices that may still be in operation. Beware of them. But mainly encounter alien defensive drones. They are a weak craft. Avoid getting surrounded by them as their combined firepower will pummel you. You will also encounter biomechs. 
I love how like they're showing us the thing the the you know enemies rotating around but like notice how chunky they're rotating it's because they're not actual 3d models they're sprites they've generated the the viewpoint of these characters from like eight different positions and that's all they got so it's like uh oh phantom walls can conceal secret passages i guess i should be reading this but i'm just more enamored by like the throwback fake 3d sprite graphics um oh that symbol indicates the tunnel to the next level is nearby okay noted um i'm just more enthralled by the the graphics of this game man like it's of a different era they don't make anymore uh, look for the Neutron Cannon Power-Ups. Okay. Good luck, Jay the Iceman. Now, before we do anything... Oh, I like how that menu comes up, too. Man, this is awesome. Um, oh, wait. I want to change my controls. Is it just, like, too too late? <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's quit. Sorry, you briefed me for nothing. I want to come in here and... Is there any way to affect your controls? Oh god, the mouse is inverted. Do I just have to live with that? Okay, we're in the Radex setup. That controller, keyboard and mouse is fine. But configure, here we go. The mouse buttons. Right button flies forward, left shoots. Um, okay, whatever. Fly forward. Oh, here we go. Reverse flight control on. There we go. And let's just take a look at the keys. I, I it, it does kind of suck that this stuff isn't in the actual game, but it uh, gave us an excuse to go into the uh, setup thing here. There's order information down at the bottom. So if you're in the US, Canada, UK, or Germany, you can order this game. Probably all these phone numbers are now defunct, but who knows? Um, okay, strafe, le strafe left, comma, period, new. No, that is not what we want. We want A, D, W, S. So these games predate the W, A, S, D um, control scheme, which is pretty crazy. Fly forward. Like, who's, who's, imagine trying to use these keyboard controls. They're all over the place. Fly forward is right shift backwards is M. Oh, my God. Like, I don't know. You need, like, four hands to do this. I used to play games like that on the keyboard. I don't know how I did it. But I'm definitely, uh, I've been spoiled by uh, modern uh, you know, games. So uh, modern modern control schemes, I should say. The space for the plasma bomb is fine. Switch weapons. Um, I'm gonna make that tilled because that that's more natural. Leveling L, sure. Okay, and afterburner I saw here. I'm gonna make that tab. Oh, I can't. Um, how about Q? That's something. Uh, and is there anything else that we might want? Like, I'm going to be using the mouse to pitch up, pitch down, turn left, turn right, so I don't need any of that. I have my WASD to move around, fly forward. I mean, that's just going to be right click on my mouse. Increase speed, decrease speed. Okay, whatever. Um, and space, back... We're never going to use back view. Leveling is L. That's all we have to uh, remember. Okay, I think that's good. Now we go back in Radix. DOS 4G protected mode. That is another very nostalgic thing that tells me we're about to play an awesome DOS game. Um, just all these little things that have nothing to do with the game that remind me of the era when these kinds of games existed. You know, Jay the Iceman. Let's just go into it. And is there any way to skip this? There we go. All right. Into the action. All right. Cool. I don't know if the WASD actually, like, I don't know if I, I want that to make me move up and down. Oh, God. It's, it's, it's funny, but I think uh, we got to go in and alter the controls again. Because W moves me up and S moves me down, but in my mind I was expecting them to move me forward and back, and it's just not going to work. Sorry, game. I wish you had a ability to alter your controls within the game, but we got to uh, we got to go in here. All right, configure the controller, configure the keyboard. Okay, so fly forward is W, fly back is S. So then to move up and down. 
How about just R and F? I feel like I'm not going to use those too often. But there we go. That's probably good. Okay. Save that. Back into Radix. Give me that sweet DOS 4G protected mode gameplay. Okay, new game. Jay, the, 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 the briefing people are going to be like, man, is this guy ever going to go on a mission? He just keeps coming in for the briefings. All right. Now, now we're doing it. We can go up and down. And we can fly around. Oh, yeah, there we go. And we got it. You know what I'm realizing? We don't need right click on the mouse to go forward. That should be another fire. Oh, and we're like slowly going down. Okay, hold on, bear with me one more time. Didn't you guys just tune into this video to watch me configure a uh, very intricate set of controls? Isn't that, isn't that why you want to watch this? I just assumed, you know. Um, okay, fly up. I'm actually gonna make that space. And plasma bombs will just be B to get it out of the way. Um, so space is sort of like jump. I'm basically remapping this game onto like the controls of like Quake. Um, strafe down can be Z, in case we want to go down, I guess. Um, I don't know if there's an easier button to do. Not really. Okay, then we'll accept that, and we will configure our mouse, and our right button will be the plasma bombs. Boom. Maybe we'll even make the middle button the uh, afterburners, because we do not need the middle button to be strafe. Okay. Once more, into the fray. New game. Um, oh, I didn't even name myself. Okay, whatever. I wonder what my name is actually going to be. I guess we will find out. There we go. Space jumps. This feels way more natural. That lets me shoot. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Boom. Well, <laughs> I'm into the wall already. Wow, this feels like a pretty fast-paced... Uh, like, I was expecting more, like, Descent, which is a little more slower-paced, but this feels fairly fast-paced. Okay, let's go in here. Ooh, power-ups. The other thing is I can fly down by just aiming down and flying forward, so I don't really need the fly down button, but it's like you really do want the uh, fly up button. What do we got going on here? What is this? This thing is glowing. Hmm. I don't know. Ah, hello. Wait, what the? My gun has changed. Objective completed. Objective completed. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Okay, uh, Zed to go down, right? Yeah, there we go. Rapid shield regeneration. Hey, who's shooting me? Down you go. Oh man, this this craft is like a machine gun. Damn. You know what this craft kind of reminds me of is the Vipers in Battlestar Galactica, because they were actually super maneuverable, and they look like fighter jets, but they could do like 180 turns on a dime and like strafe around and stuff. And I remember one of the cool things about the reimagined Battlestar Galactica was like the Vipers. I mean, there were many cool things about that show. Kind of until the end where the wheels fell off of the plot, but um, for a long time that show had a lot going on, and I definitely remember the Vipers were super cool in that show. Because if you did have a, a, a aircraft in space, you know, you definitely wouldn't have to pay attention to momentum and, uh, you know, like you could do all sorts of maneuvers in space that you would never be able to do like in an atmosphere. So, um, yeah, it was cool that they actually took advantage of that. Oh, hello. Hey, where'd my machine gun go, man? That thing was cool. Okay, we're supposed to destroy everything in every room, something like that. So I'm just going to go nuts here. Level 2 Neutron Cannon acquired. Damn straight it was. What is this thing over here? Full shield. Okay. It is actually surprisingly hard to uh, stay level in this game. I feel like my ship is constantly sort of drifting up and down. And I'm always using the space bar to just like get it back up in the air. 1,000 shields acquired. Damn, that's a lot of shields. A lot? I don't even know. How many does a normal craft have? One? I have a thousand. 
I'm indestructible, man. I'm invincible. So they gave me this nice, complicated mission briefing where they're like, yeah, you have to destroy these computers and these fans and stuff. I don't even, I don't know what's going on. I don't know where I am. Actually, hold on a sec. There's a map. Oh, that's why I couldn't use tab for, uh, for Afterburner because it's used for the map, duh. All these games used tab back in the day for the map. Yeah, die. Huh, this, this really does not play at all like uh, Descent. You know what this reminds me a lot more of is Duke Nukem 3D, but just with up and down movements as well. Which again, makes a lot of sense because Epic me Mega Games, I can't remember, I don't think they did Duke Nukem 3D, but I don't know. They worked with Apogee or Pogi as I want to call it, and I'm going to call it, damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna call it what I want. Oh, there's uh, some computers destroyed for you. How about that? How about that? Anything else needs to be destroyed in here? How about these barrels? Boom! Oh man, that is that is so much Duke Nukem 3D style animation right there. This just feels like Duke Nukem 3D in in 3D. <laughs> Boom! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! That's so satisfying, actually. Blowing all that stuff up. Bam! We have limited ammo, or is it unlimited? I don't even know. Okay, I destroyed as much as I could in this room. I don't even know if this is the fan room, but we're gonna say it is. Is there a way to zoom the map in and out? Yes, there is. Okay, good. So, we started over here. Oh, what is this S? S is start? Okay. Having the map open actually really does help me not get lost. To destroy these computers too. Why are there just random computers on this alien planet? Or is this a human planet? I don't even know. I don't know, know whose planet we're on. We're on somebody's planet, that's for sure. Anybody else want some? Rapid shield depleted. Wait, why did that happen? I didn't even do anything. Rapid shield just crapped out on me. What kind of... We need a warranty on that or something. Now what do we got in here? Anything? Oh, there's a dude. Man, he cannot hit. <laughs> I'm just moving so fast. How, how could he ever hope to hit me? Kaboom! Kaboom! I like how the barrels flap in the sky and explode. It's so cool. 250 shields acquired. Now we're cooking with gas. Let's say. Full armor. Now we're cooking with gas. I don't know why I started saying that, but... Um, for some reason, I've started to say now we're cooking with gas. Oh, what what is happening? Anything needs to be destroyed in here. Primary objective oh, primary objective complete? Didn't even... Re wait, re I did? Good for me. Yay. Okay, let's just go down here. We. Oh, we're done. That's the end of the level. I don't even... I, I didn't even realize we completed any objectives. We were fairly close to the par time, too. You found one of four secret areas. I did? Didn't even realize it. After cleansing Theta 2 outposts of the alien mud, you traveled down the tunnel hidden under the slime deeper into the complex. It appears that the aliens have now completely shut down their base's water system. As a result, water is drained out of all the vital, vital water canals. Before the pump was shut off, however, the entire pumping station was completely flooded with water. Your primary objective for this mission would be to reactivate the main Theta 2 water pumping system. This will drain the water out of the pumping station and fill the canals. This can be done by flying over the energy pad location here. Your secondary objective is to locate a hidden alien hangar bay and destroy all idle alien craft inside. Watch for plasma spreader. It can be found in this area. Although slow to begin with, this weapon can be powerful up to four times to make it very formidable. Plasma bolts can also bounce off walls. Oh, that's cool. Also, look out for this power-up. It will give you the fighter the ability to fire deadly seeking missiles. Cool. Let me at him, chief. I'll kill every alien scumbag you guys want. Oh, there's some scumbags right there. I guess they're just uh, drones. Whoa, 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 wait, what's happening? Why, why, why am I shooting so slowly? Hold on here. Oh my god, wait, what's- my, my craft is running out of juice! They're low on power! Oh, I can't- 
can't even like stay in this tunnel. There we go. Uh oh. I didn't realize you could actually like run out of energy. Oh my god, this thing sucks. <laughs> I need more guns. I need more guns. I didn't realize this was a possibility. God. Shoot them. There we go. Okay. I think. God, when you scrape on the ground, you get that like uh, orange flare there. I think. Okay. I think you you definitely do have ammo in this. Oh my god. Oh wait, aliens. Let's blow up the barrel. Boom! All that destroyed them. Real good. Get out of here. Man, it is. <laughs> Oh no, now I'm sucking. Level one, I- Oh my god! Okay, pro tip, don't fly into an explosive barrel like that. I just saw, like, uh... Shields or something and was like, yes please. Whatever the hell I picked up, some kind of power up. Okay, let's kill these guys. These guys. Oh my god. Oh god, oh god. Ugh. When it's single shots, it's so much harder to hit anything. But I like that my plasma bolts just obliterate those guys. Wow, these things are actually strafing. That's actually impressive for AI. God damn it! <laughs> but it's annoying! Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Yeah, there's a secret. Let's just bolt. Let's run away like heroes. Pick up these things and these things and the whatever the hell all this stuff is. Oh. Is this the, the secret alien hangar that we're supposed to discover? Destroy everything on the inside. There we go. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff. I still don't know what all the power-ups are or what they do, but we got them. Oh, yeah! Oh, I, I have like some kind of like... Shotgun now. What is this? Full energy! Alright, let's go scumbags! You guys poke the bear. You poke the devil. You're gonna get the horns. Blow up these barrels so they don't kill me. You want some too? Oh god. Kill him. These things. Yeah, there we go. I guess I never realized, but like I really rely on like existing gaming knowledge when I'm, oh god, hopping into a new game like this. Like for instance, I don't know what any of these power-ups are. But I feel like if this was a first-person shooter, the power-ups would be like med pack and then different guns. And I would clearly understand- wait, why can't I turn? What is happening? I can't turn! Wait. Is that intentional? Did I get like depowered or something? I'm using the keyboard now to turn. Oh my god, the I can't turn with the mouse anymore! Okay, well this is... problematic. What happened? Did the game glitch out? The turn with the keyboard now. Um, okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, this is like unplayable now. Yeah, hold on. Can we save this? Save our game. Uh, game one. And then I'm gonna try quitting coming back in. Uh, quit. Yes. Quit. And Radix. That was so weird. I, I was moving the mouse left and right and it wasn't doing anything like... Did I get hit by something that... No, because I could turn left and right with the keyboard. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, yeah, now I can turn all of a sudden again. Whoa, the game glitched out on me. That was so weird. Oh man, this gun that I... Whatever I've got right now is way better than what I normally have. Yeah, it's like a machine gun sh distance shotgun or something. Actually really sweet. Boom. I guess the thing that makes it so deadly is that you don't have to, um... You don't have to wait for your projectiles to hit the enemy. It's like instant. As soon as you pull the trigger, you're hitting them. And that's actually really powerful in the first-person shooter. To not have any lead time on your projectiles. Okay, what were my obje- my... Things? Because I feel like I haven't done any of them. Guess we should go this way? There we go. Here's a room we haven't been in yet. Oh, look at this. Whatever this is. And this, I'll take this too. Okay, that was just a room full of a couple of power-ups. There was something that I was supposed to fly over. I kind of forgot. I guess I assumed it would be, like, pretty obvious, but... Oh, get out of here, you. No. 
like this thing. Am I supposed to fly over this thing? No, am I supposed to kill this thing? I don't want to waste my ammo. <laughs> um, okay. Or look, there's something glowing in here. Destroy those computers. That part of my mission? Okay. Oh, look. I can keep going this way. There we go. Okay. I was confused about how I was getting sort of trapped in there and where I was supposed to go. Oh, I get it now. Oh, look, we can afterburner. Can fly a little faster. Oh, I love this gun. This gun's the best. Die! 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 Look at all these guys. They're trying to surround me, but my mission my uh, mission briefings warned me about that that crappy tactic. How about I just explode you all? Boom! Uh, down you go. Down you go. Anyone else? Anyone else want to tango? Seems like not. Oh, there's another guy over there though. It's cool how, like, your ship moves so fast. Like, compared to Duke Nukem 3D, I feel like these environments are way more, like, open. You know, like, look how big this area is. Like, that's a huge arena to kill guys in, and it's kind of interesting being 3D. Like, somehow, just a big open plane doesn't feel, like, boring. Oh, I'm, like, stuck here. Oh, God. That was hard to get out of. Oh, God. Um, but yeah, somehow just a big open plane doesn't feel, like, that boring. As the enemies can, like, move in three dimensions and stuff. So, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Um, okay. I think the platform I have to fly on... Oh, God! Oh, I love when you kill these guys, so they just, like, effing explode! That's so awesome! Gruesome, but awesome. Yes! <laughs> I swear the people who made Duke 3D had to have something to do with this, because this is... This is too much. All right, we did the primary objective. And I did find the exit before. Oh my God, I can't turn again. What is happening with the mouse? Oh my God, seriously? Here's here's a question. If we just save it and we kind of quit and then we load back in, will the mouse work? No, it won't. Seriously. Okay, oops, top 10. Craig Boston, Carl Devon, ACL. All right, well, back in we go. Epic's Mega Game. Load. Okay, now the question is, where was... Where was this exit that we discovered? Oh, look at this. What's going on, guys? Kablam! Kablooey! Anything in here? This totally looks like a door. Guess not, though. Anything in here? Oh, there's a bunch of guys. Boom, boom, blow up the barrels! Blow up all the barrels! Oh, it's so satisfying. I oh, mean, the explosions and the guns and everything, it's really satisfying, actually. Um, we go in here? Nope. Is there a guy around us? Is that just me splashing in the water? One thing that I don't like is, like, when you rub on the wall, you create, like, fire or whatever, and it makes it look like I'm getting damaged. And maybe I am actually getting damaged, but if I am, that sucks. Um, because it's really easy to move around in this game, and you can, like, unintentionally rub on all sorts of things that, uh, you don't want to be. Don't take that sentence out of context, you perverts. You guys know what I mean talking about bumping into a wall and scraping your ship. What is this? Full armor. What's that? This. What's this? That. Come on, blow up. Yes! Blow up just because it looks cool. What's in here? Hello. Looks secret-ish. Anything over here? Yeah, I, I wish those doors were, like, more clearly not doors. Because I keep thinking they're doors and that we can go in there, and we definitely can. Um, okay, now the question is, where the hell was the exit? Because I really wasn't paying attention when we found it that one time. 
but we obviously need to find it. The map open here, and I think maybe it was over here. This looks semi-correct. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. Let me through, baby. And off we go. Radical. At your current skill rating, you will achieve third place in the top ten. Sweet. All right, let's do one more mission together here. In an effort to prevent the aliens from using intelligence files on the Theta-2 computer system, your primary objective is to destroy the computer databanks. Your secondary objective is to disable minimum security computer in this area. The door objective is jammed from the outside, so it's not clear how you will get in to destroy it. Well, I don't care about secondary objectives. There are rumors that a top-secret transportation device was developed in this area. Although you are not cleared to officially know of its existence... Wait, then why did you just tell me? Please don't destroy it. That is a hard sell, man. I just kill everything in every room. We're biomines. We'll try to hit you. These things are powered by human brain tissue. Oh, man. That's got to be really sad if you're a brain in a mine. You know that uh, distance is limited. Oh, man. That was so gruesome, yet so awesome. Let's do it to this guy. Yeah! <laughs> I killed that second guy intentionally. Oh, look, more guys. Oh, wait, what the heck? Wait, what? My gun sucks. There, there must be, there's a switch gun button, right? It's tilled. Neutron cannon selected. Explosive projectile cannon. Yes, that's what I want. Plasma spreader. Oh man, the plasma spreader's garbage. They said it was like actually good. Uh, in the mission briefings, they're like, don't worry, it builds up speed, and it's actually better than you think. And it's like, yeah, that's... That's an apologist explanation for a crappy gun. We're sticking with the one that works, man. The one that obliterates guys by riddling their body with explosive shells until they freaking explode. That's the kind of gun... Oh my god! What was that? Hey, pro tip, don't do that again. Oh, look at this. Hello! Hello! Oh, ow, ow, ow. This guy's really going at it. Oh, look, it's a more advanced guy. Damn. Where is he? I can barely see him. He totally, like, blends into the background. <laughs> okay, if you're, if you're a video game de developer, don't make the walls of your level gray and brown if your enemy's color is also gray. Oh, my God, I'm totally going to die. We got owned, man. Damn. Wait, do we have plasma missiles? We do not. Okay. Well. Oh, we lost all of our weapons. Okay, that sucks. That does suck. All right, well, we're going to try this one more time. I mean, I did say this would be our last level, so if we are encountering, like, a, a duel that we can't beat, then that's actually fine, because, you know, we made it kind of as far as we were intending to today anyway. But I do want to try and see if we can beat this guy. I don't want to let him have the last word. Get all these power-ups. God. Up and in the wall. I can... Oh my god, and I can't turn left or right now. <laughs> okay, that bug does bother me. Because, like, you have to exit the entire game. I don't know if it's because it's running on DOSBox and the game was never intended to or what. But, I mean... You know, obviously, it would be a lot better if we didn't have to periodically exit and re-enter the game. And my mouse works again. So annoying. Okay. Oh, there's a guy down there. Look at- look- look at this gun! <laughs> oh my god! That gun sucks! Give me this the default gun. If it's between the default and that piece of junk, give me the default gun, I guess. Um, I feel like we're discovering a whole new side of the level that we didn't encounter before. Like, see, this is good. The walls are black, so you can, like, see the enemies. And the enemies also have, like, red eyes, like Cylons. You can, like, see them trying to fly at you and stuff. But yeah, having, like, brown and gray walls fighting a brown and gray enemy. Like, maybe if you had a modern game where, like, the, the screen resolution and the resolution of your character models and everything was much greater so you could actually discern details, 
but things are kind of pixelated here. And I, you know, I am the one who loves pixelated graphics, but just not when the developers require you to pick up fine details in the distance to be able to shoot your enemies. Then I feel like, guys, guys, make a different aesthetic choice, please. Please. And there's so many like little hidden nooks you can find here by just looking up and down. Crazy. Oh no, that's the nook we came from. Okay, whatever. I thought it was a secret, but it's just the way we came. Okay. Might have been something else over there. You know, before we go to this duel, because I say our chances of beating this guy are 50-50. So before we do that, let's just make sure we have explored all of our options down here. Like, for instance, there's something... Ah, in here. There we go. Okay, we got going on down here in the underbelly. We got a guy. Oh, and we have a good gun. Sweet. The gun that I wanted. Oh god, oh my god, look at all these guys. Oh my god, look at them all. Do I have explosives? Oh, maybe this is where the uh, the spreader works. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna give it a shot. Come on, spreader, do your thing. Kill them all. Did it do it? I still feel like it's less efficient than just using the other gun, but whatever. They gave us the spreader. They want us to use it on this level. There we go. All right, there you go. Eat a bunch of bouncy, spreading bullets. Like, maybe if the bullets just fired... If you fired, like, a, a Contra-style spread gun, and they just all fired, um... Oh, there's a mine over there. Maybe if it was, like, a Contra-style spread gun, they fired in a straight line, but just, you know, at multiple angles out of your craft, that would be a good gun. But not the... Those, those bullets that were firing out of the spreader remind me of uh, a gun in Fester's Quest. Where, like, the bullets would literally go around enemies that were right in front of you, and it was so annoying. It was, like, a really crappy gun. <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel like between Fester's Quest and the release of this game, surely someone must have figured out having bullets that move around in, like, a weird arc pattern sucked. Um, hey, we just completed the primary objective. Explosive projectile can. That's what we want. Hello. Oh, we just I love killing the aliens because they just explode. Yes. Blood and explosions and barrels and bullets. That makes my Saturday. Damn. Also, you know, this game does have a bit of a Duke Nukem kind of like uh, MIDI based sort of guitar riff track. You know, like it's. Oh, God. Is that a mine? It's trying to be like a little badass. Um, I'm cool with. I like it. I appreciate it. MIDI music, you know, it's like where's the sort of the, the pixelated graphics. Everything I would say from the NES up until now, like the, this DOS era graphics, are some of the most nostalgic gaming graphics to me. Um, oh my god, I'm just remembering Epic Mega Games made One Must Fall 2097. Maybe that's where I know them from. That's one of my favorite fighting games, actually, which I've played on my channel. Check it out if, uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about. It's a great about like cyborgs fighting and stuff like that but anyway um so you know nes up until this era these are my favorite graphics uh of all time in video games i i think i, I would say oh we're at the objective hold on let's save it i want to go back and see if we can kill that scumbag who killed us last time but we actually did beat the mission so let us see um, but when it comes to sound and music, I feel like a uh, MIDI, M-I-D-I, if you don't know what that is, you are not of the DOS era, but I feel like MIDI sounds are like some of the most nostalgic gaming sounds out there, gaming music. Uh, of course, like NES and Super Nintendo and all that was good too, but even like you go back and you play like Warcraft 2, and it's like you can play it with like CD audio or you can play it with like MIDI audio, and there's something very nostalgic about the MIDI audio. I don't know. Okay, it's this guy in here? Oh, there he is! Okay. Let's ice this mofo. Yes! Direct fool. Yeah! Eat it! See, we could have taken the coward's route and just walked away. We could have walked away, guys. Not on my watch. Somebody kills me. I reload. I rewind time, reload, and I go back and I kill them. That's how we do. Oh, we kind of flew through that level. 
Secondary objective incomplete. Um, this mission will be required to disable the Theta 2 network system. You will enter the area located on the map. Well, I love how they have the mission briefings actually and they show you the map. That's actually very unique. It's destroy, destroy all enemies. And then your primary objective is to destroy the main computer server in this area. You may then proceed to the next area. Good luck. Oh, you know what? I said the last mission would be our last one, but screw it. Let's keep going. Boom! Next time we die, though, I think we'll call it, but... You know, whatever. We got some guns. We got some uh, awesome MIDI rock music in the background keeping us going. This guy knows how to slaughter aliens, let me tell you. Kablamo! Oh, look at it! Alien carnage. I love how when you shoot the water, like, little pellets of water explode up, too. Like, this is great. Boom! Get out of here, mine. Anything cool down here? Power-ups? Like that. Oh, God. Yeah. Die. I don't know what my objectives are this time, except I know I'm supposed to destroy something near the exit. So I'm just going to fly around and kill as many alien scumbags as I can, and it'll all sort itself out. We lost our awesome gun, though. The pl this plasma gun is fine. I mean, it's your, your default gun, so it's not supposed to be the best gun, but honestly, that bullet gun or whatever that we were getting, I, I, I find that's like one of the funnest guns. Um, power required for next level. Okay. It is cool how like your guns gradually get more powered up and stuff too. Like, but yeah, like I dig what they're doing here. Oh, look at that guy. <laughs> we just, that was the guy I think who gave us such a hard time last time. We just blew up a bunch of barrels and obliterated him. That's how it should be, man. That's how it should be. There you go. Now, where are we even? We've we been going in the right direction. I can't even tell. I don't even know which way is forward, frankly. That's the one thing I wish the auto map had is like a north-south indicator. Um, oh look, what what is this? Hold on. We want this rapid regeneration. Okay, probably good for us, right? Anyone else in here? Oh, the explosions are just so epic. Epic Mega Games made some really epic explosions. Yes! Oh, that was the guy who gave us so much trouble last time, too. We're getting better at killing those guys. But we are running out of bullets. There we go. But I see a lot of power-ups in this room, so we should be fine. It'd be cool to get the missiles. We still don't have them. Right, I set up right-click as, like, the missile thing, and I haven't been able to use it the whole, uh, the whole game. Um, oh, missile capability. Oh, I think I just fired one. Okay, hold on. Neutron cannons. Explosile. <laughs> Explosile. Explosive projectile cannon selected. Jay's favorite gun. His gun. <laughs> um, jeez, where are we? I thought this level was just a lot of straightaways, and I guess it is, but we're somehow still getting lost. Yeah! Eat it. Yeah, eat it. One thing about these 2.5D games like Doom and uh, Duke Nukem and stuff is if you look up and down a lot, I guess it's hard to see, but the textures and stuff get distorted if you look up and down. Like things just look a little... I guess they've actually done a pretty good job of correcting it in this game here. I'm not quite seeing the distortions I was expecting, but especially in Duke 3D, if you look up and down too much, you can really see distortions. Yeah, here, let's fire a missile. Oh, I, I think I only had one and I lost it. All right, fired it. What is it? Oh, look at all this stuff. I don't know what all that stuff was, but we got it. We are powered up. It's sort of like they took Gradius. Because you know how, like, in old games like Gradius, you, your ship would gradually get more guns and more powered up and this and that? It's sort of like that in 3D. And they also gave you a health bar, because in Gradius, I'm pretty sure you died from one hit. All those old arcade games and old NES games who are based on arcade games were like one-hit kills. I think the only games that figured that out correctly were Contra and Mario. Because in Mario, think about it, Mario is kind of a one-hit kill game. But, I mean, if you get a power-up, then you have two-hit kills. Oh, our neutron thing got upgraded. Oh, who fired that missile? Oh, the wall did. Interesting. Oh, but we can destroy the wall. Yeah, there you go. Oh, is this still firing missiles at us? Destroy the computer, too. 
Hey, we did the objective. Didn't even realize that was the objective, but I did it. Let's just get out of here. Unless there are power-ups. Get some sweet power-ups before we get out of here. Um, but yeah, think about it. Mario's a one-hit kill game, right? Like, I mean, you can get a power-up that gives you one extra hit, but other than that, one hit and you're dead. And you're not even dead like in Contra, where when you die, you just respawn where you died. You go back to the beginning of the level. So, I mean... You know, a lot of people hate one-hit kill games. Or not hate, but I mean, they find them quite challenging. But I feel like Mario is a secret one-hit kill game that... Uh, through a very clever power-up system gives you one bonus hit and through that kind of fundamentally changes and so people don't think of it as a one-hit kill game um, I mean I guess you know I'm saying it's a one-hit kill game even though you can have two hits so it's like I know technically it's not a one-hit kill game but it's sort of it's of that genre where it's like it's very easy to die and you get sent back to the beginning compared to Contra right like it's also a one-hit kill game um, there's nothing you can do to get a second hit, but when you die, you, like, literally fall from the sky right where you die. Like, <laughs> you fall from the sky on top of your previous corpse. Um, and I feel like, despite the fact that everyone knows Contra is hard, and it is one-hit kill, and this and that, it's like, there are much harder one-hit kill games in the NES library, um, than Contra. And so it's like, if you're gonna do one-hit kills, you know, I think Contra figured out the solution, and Mario figured out an alternative way of doing it. It's... You know, I mean, I guess, again, it's technically not one-hit kill, but from a certain perspective, it kind of is. It's one-hit kill with the ability to get a sh one a one-hit shield. It's basically what you can think of Mario as. Oh, I think I just fired a missile and obliterated everybody. Damn, I'm liking this, like, upgraded neutron cannon thing. The game does a good job of giving you, like, cool power-ups that actually, like, feel rewarding. Okay, let's just fire another missile. Oh, we don't have one. Okay, whatever. Eat it! Eat it! We have other guns. Oh yeah, explosive projectile cannon selected. Wait, I guess I have no ammo. That sucks. Keep gathering up all these power ups then. Or I can't even pick them up. There we go. Three power ups required for the next level. Okay. Two power ups required. One power up required. Oh my god, we can get to the next level. Is a supercharge. You know, I wasn't even paying attention to the mission briefing, so I'm not 100% sure what we're even supposed to do. Conventional missiles. Oh my god! <laughs> yes! Yes! That's so cool. 20 missiles. Damn, dog! I don't want to leave this area. There's so many sweet power ups. I know I said like two levels ago that we're pretty much done, but you know the mark of a good good game is that it keeps you playing just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Before you know it, it's 5 a.m. and then uh, your mom catches you awake and you have to pretend like you just woke up as opposed to you've been staying up the whole time playing video games. Which is what happened to me one summer. Stayed up till about 6 in the morning playing Deus Ex great RPG slash first person shooter and uh, finally figured it was time to go to bed and as I was going to bed my mom was getting up for work caught me going to the bathroom like to brush my teeth and stuff and she was like are you just going to bed and like I was going to be in so much trouble I was like what? No I was sleeping I just got up to use the bathroom she's like hey okay. and I don't know if she fully believed me but it's you know like reasonable doubt so I got out of it it was a, te it was a legal technicality for getting out of trouble as a kid uh, reasonable doubt. <laughs> I got lucky there, but... Oh, that is so sweet. These missiles are homing. This is badass and awesome, man. And they fire at two enemies at once? This is so cool! Look at this! Yes! Yeah, I wanted these missiles. Kaboom! 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 Like, I thought the rocket launcher in Doom and Duke Nukem 3D was cool. How about a rocket launcher that locks onto two enemies and can, like, fire in two directions at once? That is so awesome. It's so cool! Yes. Yes, I'm just wasting missiles on guys that I clearly don't even need to be using missiles on, but why the F not, man? Live life sometimes, you know? Sometimes you gotta splurge and fire high-powered ordinances into enemies that are clearly outmatched just because you can. Oh, we like obliterated all of them with two shots there. 
insane. All right, let's get a bunch of enemies together and let them have it. There you go, buddies. Oh, you survived. Have two missiles to the face instead of just one. All right, room's looking pretty dead. We've killed a lot. The only thing I wish I knew is how many missiles I actually had. I feel like that's missing from the heads-up display. Like, I don't actually know how much ammo I have for any of my guns. Maybe it's displayed somewhere and I just don't understand the displays, but... Um, okay. We did come in here. Kinda missed a room that was up over here, so let's check this out. The auto map, by the way, is like saving my life right now. If I didn't have the auto map, there's no way I would, uh... There's no way I would find all the areas I've missed in this game and stuff. I'll look at these guys. Oh! This guy wants a missile! This guy wants a couple of them. Yes! Oh, that missiles make they make such short work of those dudes. Um, okay, let's... Come down here. Where's this guy? Let's, uh, boom! Explode him. So sad. It never gets unsatisfying. I never, like, you know what? We should, uh... We should not obliterate that guy. I don't know if we need to destroy anything over there. Like, there's a computer. We're supposed to kill that? I don't know. Secondary objective complete. I guess we were. Okay. Cool. There's no way to get your mission objective if you kind of weren't paying attention, right? Oh, I obliterated that guy, too. Um, is there anything down here? Oh, there totally is a secret area. Yes. Power me up, chief. I am ready. Plasma bombs. What else we got here? Four neutron cannons. Level four neutron cannon acquired. Plasma shields, full armor. I'm ready to tango, man. Oh. Oh, no, never mind. I just <laughs> drove in a uh, sludge. I was like, was there an enemy down there? Okay. Oh, hello. Wait, I'm on the stupid uh, bouncer one. Ooh, look at this level four neutron cannon. As your neutron cannon gets upgraded, you just start to fire like more and more shots. Totally awesome. Um, oh, I guess this has been unlocked now, so we can go over here. This is a cool level. There's like a hub area, and then you keep unlocking more areas. Look at this destruction. That's obliterating these guys. Just obliterating. And I think I think the projectiles get faster too as you get upgraded. A bloom. I mean the project this this gun is satisfying. I did say my favorite one is the machine gun. But I mean this one is pretty satisfying too. It's just like a barrage of energy and explosions. Let's give this guy a bit of level four neutron. Oh, it just obliterates him. I'm saying I'm saying obliterate a lot. But things are getting pretty obliterated. Oh my god, just the just the sheer amount of destruction around us is insane. Oh, hello. Let's just fire a missile at him. Or a bomb. Kaboom! Oh, there. Down he goes. He goes down like two seconds. The only enemy to ever kill me. Killed him in two seconds. Oh, this is a call for missiles. Conventional missiles. Kaboom, kaboom. Missiles are just like flying in every direction. Oh my god, they're firing missiles at me. Uh-oh. Hold on. Okay, let's go to our explosive cannon. Destroy these things here. These missile launchers. Get out of here. There we go. Oh no, we died! <laughs> oh man, it turns out their missiles are almost as effective as my missiles. Well, I think we are actually going to call it here. Um, Radix uh, Beyond the Void. It's an awesome game, man. That's so cool. Um, this was recommended to me, as I said. I had actually never heard of it, but it was produced by Epic Mega Games, which I am now remembering made. One Must Fall 2097. I think they partnered with a pogey. No, it's Apogee. Don't get mad at me. I always called it a pogey. I'll die calling it a pogey because I didn't know how to say it as a kid. But uh, they, they partnered with Apogee. I'm pretty sure they might have had like some bearing on Duke 3D. If not, then they definitely got the Duke 3D engine for this. This really feels like a souped up Duke Nukem 3D engine with uh, 3D movement. Um, yeah, I like it. It's, it's got cool weapons. There's, you know what? It's, 
It's interesting is that like there were things about it where I was like, I don't know what's going on Like I never knew how many bullets I had for any particular gun or how much health I had or anything I know the bars in the bottom kind of conveyed that but it's like there was three bars and I didn't know what meant what so it's like the heads up display wasn't the clearest but nonetheless, it was like a fast-paced game with crazy explosions, blood and guts flying everywhere, awesome guns, except for that stupid spread gun, which I still maintain is useless. And uh, all things considered, I think this is kind of an awesome little DOS game. I'm happy that I uh, was able to check it out here today. So, uh, did you have you guys ever heard of this game? Have you played it before back in the day? Uh, if so, sound off in the comments down below. Let me know what you thought of it. Let me know what you liked about it. Hopefully, you had as much fun playing it back in the day as I had today. And if you did have some fun today, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and all that good stuff. Anyway, my friends, until next time, you all take care of yourselves. We'll see you soon. Peace. Yeah.